In this video, I am going to show you how to preserve and clean your brushes. Welcome to Sunday Berries. Hello everybody, welcome back to Sunday Berries. Today I am going to share a few insights on how to keep your brushes looking like this. And the reason why I wanted to do this video is because through my practice as an acrylic painter, I have gone through many brushes throughout the years since I started painting. And if you're investing in a very good brand of a brush, particularly for watercolors, then you want to keep them in good condition and preserve the bristles and the tip as much as possible. I can show you one that looks like this, and this is a Da Vinci number four. And I will also show you a Da Vinci number six in the way that I preserve the point and the bristles. You see the difference? It's very simple and it's not so expensive to be able to do that. And I will tell you how to do it, especially if you have expensive brushes, this is going to be a very, very good tip for you. Let's see what the secret is. So I have kept two of the brushes that I haven't uh, conditioned today or cleaned today. That way I could show you live how this uh, brush cleaner and conditioner works. And probably this is not something new for you, but for many it will be. This is the Masters Brush Cleaner and Preserver. And the reason why I buy it in this size is because the kind of brushes that I use in my acrylics are like this quite big, so I need something that is going to be big enough to fit this type of brush or even bigger. So you can take a look at these brushes and compare with a watercolor brush, which these are monsters. And I do paint in large format, so this is why I have these brushes. But you see, I condition them and well, obviously the use and everything, it's going to wear on as the years go by, but these brushes are easily more than seven years old. So to tell you that this cleaner and preserver is excellent, it just simply is. It also works for oil painters, the brushes, it can clean oil even if it has dried out and also with acrylics, even if the paint has actually dried out on your bristles, this preserver will help soften up and take away the paint from the bristles and then you can condition it and have it again looking like this or well, close to it. But this is the secret for that and I thought I should share it with you guys because it's really amazing. Like I said, I buy the big tub, but I also have the smaller one. So it does come in a smaller pack that you can use and this will last you a long, long time. This other one is for my bigger brushes and this is where we're going to be testing our brushes. I kept this one here because I haven't treated it and you can see the bristles are just going out. And this one I want to preserve because it's basically still new, but you can see that it can uh, handle a little bit more love and caring. All you need to do, and obviously you will do this in a sink, preferably. This is non-toxic. This soap is very gentle and it is a conditioner. So once you clean your paint out of the brush, either acrylic, oil, watercolor, then you can apply this as a conditioner as you would do in your hair. 
this is the type of result that you will uh, receive. And that is amazing. It's very important to preserve those tips for watercolors. So if you take good care of your brush, it will give you double the life that it would if not doing this process. So basically what I'm going to do, because I, I'm not going to do this in my sink. So you're gonna just add water to your soap. And again, this is um, just to show you how to do it. You're going to soap up that tip. And if it had paint, because it doesn't, um, I usually clean my brushes quite well, um, you will see the paint flushing. And if it does, then you just rinse and continue adding cleaner but this one is pretty much um, clean and it also prevents the paint from going inside the brush which will ruin the brush anyway so this is a good way to do it with my acrylic brushes i do it really strong because the bristles are so strong but you want to be gentle with your watercolor brushes and then you rinse it very, very well. And you can go and do a second clean. And once you're done, you clean it once again and try to squeeze out just a little bit of water. And what you're going to do is gently caress the soap and simply shape the bristles. Make sure you feel that there is enough soap to leave this in a nice and fine point. You leave it to rest and remember you're not going to leave your brush standing up in water because it's going to damage the tip so you want to have it always resting while it's drying and then you can place it in a little jar but never sitting on the point of your bristles and now we're going to go ahead and start with this new one because this one, for example, is a Princeton Heritage and uh, to be quite honest, it's not one of my favorites, but it's a very good brush. You want to preserve that kind of brush and what you're going to do, it's ladder up and clean your brush and as I said I do clean my brushes as soon as I finish but I purposely left these for this process so you could see how this works out now what we're going to do is rinse it out really well you should do this in your faucet so there's water actually running through the bristles and to finalize the process all you need to do is get enough of this soap slash conditioner to leave it to soak on your brush and that way you will be shaping your tips and you're going to leave it to dry and your results are this type of result. And again, if you don't have some type of brush holder, I will advise you to get some. I got this three for a really, really good price. For drying purposes, it's ideal. And then you only really need one 
but if you tend to use different sizes for uh, different projects, then this is a good solution. And I'm going to link this below as well as the master's brush cleaner. I buy this tub because this really large bucket because I do painting acrylics and my brushes are really big, so I do need a large one, but it does come in a smaller size, which is perfect for your watercolor brushes. And the good thing about this is that you will keep your brushes looking as if new. That is my tip for brushes. I hope this works for you. I know that you could simply rinse them with water and that will be fine. But as you could see in the case of this Da Vinci, the bristles were already open. You want to keep them looking like this. This is the correct way to have your brushes and the bristles taken care of. This is something that will maintain the form and keep your brushes ready to go in any painting. And as long as you keep a routine, a really good routine of making sure that your brushes are clean and conditioned, you should have excellent brushes for many, many years. This is how I preserve and condition my watercolor brushes and any other multimedia brush like acrylics or oils. It will help keep those brushes looking brand new and feeling brand new. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It will let me know that you like the content and we also it will also help push this video to other people that might have the same interests like you. And if you haven't considered subscribing yet, please do so. Just hit that subscribe button and add the bell so you know exactly when I release new content. And for this month, let me just say I have really good content coming up. So please stay tuned, stick around, and I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you found these tips really helpful. Until the next time, please take care of yourselves, stay safe, and bye!